Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong What up though, heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Sad news coming out of the wrestling world today, man. We lost one, man. We lost Virgil, Michael Virgil Jones, a.k.a. Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Nah, I'm playing. Y'all know what I'm talking about though, man. This is Virgil. All right, Pete, to this brother, man. He passed away at the age of 61 years old. If y'all don't know who he is, man, you must be young. You must be living up under a rock. He was the bodyguard. Of the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, back when they had gimmicks back in the days, man. Y'all remember that? They had um the Repo Man, the Indian Man. What's his name? Tatanka. They had all kind of gimmicks back then, yo. Yeah. That's what it was like, the golden age, man. But, yo. um, I heard he got his name, Virgil, from, um, what's my man's name? Dusty Rose. Yeah, because um, Dusty Rose, his real name is Virgil. So, I think he left the WWE and um, went on to WCW and I think he must have been boys with Vince, you know, with Virgil. So Vince McMahon turned him into Virgil and made him carry the, you know, carry around the championship for like like a, in, what do you call it, indentured slave, indigenous, something like that. Man, y'all know what I'm talking about, though, man. Um, he was like a maid or a butler to um, Ted DiBiase. So uh, I don't know. That's what I heard, man. He also said stuff like he started the NWO. Yeah, Virgil said it. He said he was the reason behind the NWO. Him, he did it. So I don't know how true this is, but yo, he said that. Um, he did all kind of things, man. I think he was in the AEW one time or something like that. Yo, one thing I did not know, I did not know that he was not a Hall of Famer. <clears throat> yeah, I thought he would have been one from coming back from the golden era back then with all the stuff, all the gimmicks and stuff. Cause a lot of them wrestlers was, you know, it was all right. It was pretty dope. He was, um... He inducted himself into the Hall of Fame like 2023, he said. Um, you know, because they ain't give him the nod yet to go. Ted DiBiase said he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. The Virgil should not be there because um, he didn't wrestle. So, I don't know, man. That's that's between, it ain't between them no more because he didn't pass away now. But that's what Ted DiBiase said. He said he wasn't a wrestler. I mean, he did, was he Soul Train Jones? I think he was Vincent in the WCW. Um, <clears throat> so, yo. He did wrestle, but he really had no wrestling matches and no storylines and nothing like that. I ain't hear the shit on the man legacy and all that, man. I just think he should be in the Hall of Fame. This from being back then in that era. You know, back then, everybody made it to the Hall of Fame. I think, shit, Earthquake then made it. What's his name? Earthquake? Typhoon? I don't know, man. I don't know what it's like being afterwards either, man. I seen this right here. It's like, come on, man. Don't nobody want to get Virgil autograph. That's messed up, yo. He was at a, um one of them little... Comic Cons or something like that, yeah. But yeah, this is one of the last photos of Virgil right here before he passed away. I don't know what he passed away of either. I just heard the news this morning um, when I woke up. It's like, yo, Virgil passed away. I'm like, damn, Virgil. Um, so I don't know how much of this stuff true what I just said in this video right here, but y'all can look it up yourself. I think that he did get his name from Virgil, aka Virgil Reynolds, Dusty Rhodes, and he said he um started NWO. I don't know about that. But I don't know, man. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about stuff just like this. Y'all just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And um, R.I.P. the Virgil, man. 61 years young. Well, old. However you want to put it. But that's why I know him from be being back in the days holding the, um, the million dollar belt. You know, he was swole, too. He was nice. He was jacked up. That's, that's another thing um, Ted DiBiase said. Ted DiBiase said, yo, he kept his body, he kept his physique nice, you know, to hold the belt for me, but I don't think he should get, be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, he was he was like a manager or something, man. He was, he helped the gimmick of Ted DiBiase. Like, he had a, he had a black man, but he had a man right beside him with the belt the whole time or hold it for him, he do all his shit, so. Be sure out to them, man, but R.I.P. to Michael Virgil. Jones, man. Passed away today. 61 years old. R.I.P. to the brother, man. I let your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. 
this time. But I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.